Hi, I watched Extraordinary at Tony Who, and here's my review. Diagnosed with Autism Spectrum Disorder, Hu Yongwu, 27, becomes a lawyer after she graduated as a top student from the famous Seoul National University. So this is again another drama that was recommended to me and that I decided to try. I heard of this drama before I w it was recommended to me. Of course, it has been very popular and a bit all over the internet, but I did manage not to get spoiled at all. Mm, for some reason, I'm very lucky with my dramas. Nobody ever spoiled me. I'm not gonna lie, the main point that made me try it is because she is diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder which certainly made the story a lot more interesting for me because in the first place I'm really not interested in anything that touches to the law, judges, all that because usually it's a bit in the police style as well, it goes hand in hand and so it's not really my thing. But learning about that made me really interesting and by seeing that you can see how, how I didn't know anything about this drama and didn't really want to give it a chance. Second point that made me want to watch it is how she is very, very passionate about marine mammals. It's gonna sound weird and a bit stupid, but I really like marine mammals as well, especially orcas. I love them so much. So this was actually a point that made me happy to try it, actually. Even though I have to say that we see them a lot less than I thought we were, but it's okay. Something that made me even more excited is actually when I started the drama and recognized the actress. I didn't recognize her on the poster and I didn't check it either before, but I recognized her from a drama I saw before, that is The King's Affection, where she plays a little girl who has to dress up as a young prince. If you haven't watched this drama, I absolutely recommend it. I think it is very well done. She acts very, very well in there. She's re really convincing as playing a little prince. So I recommend it if you haven't watched it. So since I liked this drama so much and she was so good in there, even more excitement when I realized really early in the first episode who she was. Two little things I can end with is, first, I think if you're a bit like me and not really into this kind of law and judge and attorneys kind of genre, I think you can give this one a chance because it's pretty different than how we usually see it, I think. I haven't watched that much, but from a general idea of what you could have of such a genre, I think it's pretty different because it doesn't really touch on crimes, murder, these kind of things. So you could be interested by that. Also, and I don't think it's a spoiler to say this, but they don't focus on just one case, the whole drama. They actually have several cases uh, during the course of the drama. So. It's nice because if you're stuck with just one case is the whole drama, if you don't like the case, then you're stuck for the whole drama. But in this case, they have several cases. So even if you don't really like one, you know they are going to change pretty soon anyway. So I think it's a very good point for the drama. Also, uh, if you like romance, there's actually a pinch of romance in this drama. It's not that much, uh, but it still feels pretty nice uh, because it's very sweet and cute. So. Yeah, there's a pinch of romance if you like romance. Now, I feel that I don't have much to say actually in this spoil part because since it touches different stories every time, I don't necessarily have anything to say about the cases in themselves. Uh, first, I just want to come back on the fact that it's different stories that I mentioned just before and it was very good for me. Maybe sometimes a bit difficult because I'm in a bit of a slump recently in drama. I have kind of forced myself to watch dramas because I just don't really feel like sitting for a few hours and just binge like I used to do it usually. So because of this, changing stories every time changing cases was a bit of a problem because sometimes when I was really invested in a case I would kind of binge and really watch faster but then I would enter a new case and be not so interested in the beginning so it would take me 
a minute to go back to the drama. So it actually took me quite a long time to finish this drama. But I I know it's not because of the drama, because I actually prefer it this way, uh, separate in different cases with every episode. So it's really just something on me, but I wanted to come back on this. Because I think it's a very strong point for the drama to have several cases. Since English isn't my first language, language I'm... I don't know all the words, the vocabulary for this, uh, but it's more, how do they say this, on the civil, on people. Um, no, I, I really have no idea how to say, say that, but it's really not focused on murderers and things like that. And I actually enjoyed it a lot. I'm sure they depict real laws. In Korea, well, either they do or they don't, it felt like it was very instructive, even if it's not from my own country. It felt very interesting to hear about everything, while usually it's typically the type of thing that I don't like and I don't really care about. But in this case, it was very interesting and I always kind of wanted to hear them talk about the law even more. Now a bit on the mammals, because of course uh, she's very in love with them. I think she should have become a marine biologist with how she loved them. She could have specialized in cetaceans, something like that, in whales, whatever she wanted. She could have spe specialized in there. So yeah, this could have been nice as well to follow a person who become a marine biologist. But anyway, I think I'm projecting kind of my past dreams into her. But she could have, she could have. I don't know all the facts she said in this drama because there are some whales or some dolphins I just don't really know about. But I know that for orcas and some of the whales she did say a lot of very true things. So I'm almost certain, no. I'm 100% certain that everything she says in this drama is right. And I just want to come back and because I think it's important to say it and I've already said it in another video before, but please don't go watch uh, dolphins, belugas or orcas in captivity on shows in little pools. Please don't do that. Like she says, it's like prison for them. Um, it's really not good for them. Just imagine yourself in a tiny cell, just a bit bigger than your own body and just having nothing to do every day. Just turning around or just not moving, lying down or sitting, just doing nothing and just eating sometimes and not even being fed correctly because then when you are able to go out in still a tiny room, maybe a bit bigger, but a tiny room you have to perform in front of people and they need to have you a bit starving because they want you to do what they want you to do. So just imagine yourself in this position and I'm pretty sure you would go crazy pretty quickly because first we're not made to live like that and second we're also, uh, we're also social animals as humans. So this doesn't work and it's exactly the same for these animals they are not on they they are not made to live in such conditions they need to swim kilometers and kilometers in a day they need to move all the time and they are very social animals as well so they need their family their friends and you know their pod everyone with them and in these places it's not possible so really everything she says at least about orcas and captivity, that's for sh that for sure I know 100% is true. So please listen to her and don't go uh, watch these poor animals in captivity, even if you really want to see them. I think I'm the person who would want to see orcas the most here. Honestly, um, it's such a dream sometimes when I think about it or when I dream about it when I sleep I cry when I finally meet them. So it's a big big dream of mine but I would never go and see them in such a place. So please don't do it as well, don't give them their money, it's all that they want. 
Anyway, after this little rant that I feel was the perfect opportunity with this drama to put it there, <laughs> um, the little romance, very sweet, very cute. I wasn't expecting romance at all. Usually I think this is the kind of drama that I would feel doesn't need a romance. But since she's such a special person, right, she's not... I, I don't want to say it like that, but she's not normal. She's not your normal, typical girl, right? Because she suffers from autism spectrum disorder. I'm sorry, I keep reading it every time because in English it's pretty difficult for me to remember this term. But since she suffers from this, it's actually very interesting to see how the romance works. Um, how it works with other people. Because it's something that I forgot to wrote. But a bit like some, some certain diseases or some something like some things like that. I feel like it's actually pretty difficult as someone who doesn't have autism spectrum disorder or someone who's never met closely people affected by this disorder. I feel like it's difficult to imagine how it is for these people. I'm going to take an example that's very different, that has nothing to do with autism spectrum disorder, but it's depression. A lot of people who never met people or been close to people who have been depressed or, or never had depression themselves can't understand what it feels like to have depression. They just can't understand. And so I feel like it's a bit of the same with autism spectrum disorder. I feel like it's difficult to, to really grasp and understand how it is for the persons. Because I feel like the whole time, even though I watched the drama and I like I loved Hu Young Woo so much, and sometimes I felt like I could understand her, at the end of the day, the whole drama, I felt like I could never really grasp her personality or grasp her, who she is really. Um, so that's why I was saying that the romance is also very nice because of this, because you already can't really put yourself in the shoes of these people. But with the romance, you can kind of see more things that you don't necessarily really understand. I don't really know if I make sense right now. I think like it's a bit of a mess in my head. I don't really know how to explain this. but. Because of all this, uh, because she's a special person, I think that the romance is very welcome, even if it's a tiny bit. And also, what I want to say is the first kiss, their very first kiss, is so pretty. The um, cinematography at that moment is really nice. Honestly, um, it was very simple, but very cute. So cute. Last little things before I end. First, I was very glad that she got to meet her little brother and I hope we'll get to see him more in second season because I really liked him. He was such a cute little bean. And second thing, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really like that there was a plot, a secret family plot. Uh, pfft. It's something that I don't really like, just overall, in any drama, uh, they tend to happen a lot in historical drama, and I like watching historical dramas. But there's often a secret birth thing, secrets, and I just don't like it, so I get a bit bored with that pretty easily, so I didn't really like that there was this in this drama as well. Uh, if Honestly, though, I'm very happy because it doesn't take that much place in the drama. We we concentrate a lot more on the cases throughout the drama, so I'm really glad for that. But it's still there. Even if it's not happening, it's still in the back of your mind. You keep thinking about it. And since I know there's going to be a second season, I feel like it's going to be a lot more present in the second season. So I have to say that I'm a bit worried about a second season. I feel like it's not really necessary. The drama could end this way, very much this way. Especially since uh, Tesumi ended up not doing what she wanted to do. Well, she, she left with her head high, which is different from what um, Hanbada's head, what she wanted, right? She wanted her to be kind of 
smashed to the ground. So it's not what happens, but in the end, it still happens, right? So I feel like a second season is not ne really necessary, especially since, yeah, this guy is also cured. So technically he's cured. I mean, he could have a relapse. It could have a relapse, but if it happens, it's going to happen in second season. So again, this would be something not very fun to watch because I really like this guy. It's something that I haven't mentioned, but honestly, I just like this character who was very prejudiced. He was the most prejudiced one of them at the beginning. He was really against it. But as soon as he saw what she was capable of, his attitude completely changes and... He accepts her for who she is because he knows she is capable. So, ah, what a great character. And I don't want bad things to happen to him in a second season if he comes back, after all, if he comes back. So, yeah, I, I spoke about season two, so I might finish. Yeah, I, I will watch season two when it comes out. But it's true that I don't necessarily see a point in a second season. I feel like most of everything's been talked about in this one. And that's it for Extraordinary Attorney Who. That was a big, big, big surprise for me that I didn't think I was going to watch ever and eventually watched and really adored. A bit skeptic on the a second season. I have to admit that I'm not sure about that. So tell me your thoughts about it. If What do you think about a second season? I also think these days Korean dramas push, push it too hard for a second season with a lot of dramas. I saw a list. It's a list long like the arm of dramas having a second season soon and it's a trend I'm not really liking so far. Dramas can be so long in the first place so adding seasons i don't really see a point and if, especially if there's not really a point like in this drama i feel like there's no really point but i will still watch it anyway and i might enjoy it just as much as i enjoyed this but for now i'm a bit skeptic about that so tell me your own thoughts about it tell me what you thought about this drama honestly it's been so popular that probably you liked it and it's a very, very well done drama, very well acted. So yeah, even if the, at the end of the day, you don't necessarily like the story or how, what it is about, the quality is just there. So you have to give points to that. Anyway, I leave you now. I'm done with this drama and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.